nice bike, but we need to do this. But wait, 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 wait. We will get there and I will explain you everything, what the I'm doing. Let's start like this. This is BRP Kenem Spider RT20 Plus. That's how we, the Spider Freaks call it. It's actually 2023 model, Sea to Sky Edition, top of the food chain, top notch. The bike that we will throw in like 6,000 euros right away. It has only about 30 kilometers from the shop to our customs garage. And we will do upgrades. And why? Why? Is it really necessary? I will say it like this in the intro. For 50% of the people, the bike is absolutely amazing. Of course it's amazing. It's beautiful. It's great to ride straight away from the shop. From the, for the 50% of the people, it will need an attention. What type of upgrades? Why? how they will help. Is it necessary to put it right away or can you wait and grow into it? All of this you will learn in my new episode, how we rebuild this amazing sea to sky. My name is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and you are watching my YouTube channel. Let me start like this. We will go from the front to the back so you know what you can expect in this series, what you will maybe learn, what you can look forward to, and what you can also comment. Have your hands and keyboards ready because I will be asking you questions, hopefully. So good, so from the front to the back, I said around 6K and upgrades. So what we're we doing? A uh, few upgrades I have thrown in for you to see. This is absolutely beautiful. This is like, I know I'm a freak, but wheelburst, German shocks. Special thing about these wheelburst shocks is that we can um, go one centimeter higher. So if you know, guys, tell me, if you own RT20+, Plus, do you bottom? Do you hit bottom of your bike? For those that do not own RT20+, Plus or are thinking about it, Yes, in case you're a little bit heavier, or if you brake heavily, the bike will go down a lot and you bottom with your bike. It's just something you don't want to do with a 30,000 plus bike. So that's the first thing we will do. Absolutely beautiful nightline color. It's just cream de la cream. There are no stages in Wilbur's. It's just one stage, Wilbur's. You don't need anything else, custom built chucks. We will do radiator protectors so because the radiators are way too much open uh yeah we will simply protect it so the debris are not damaging the radiators so your bike is still in optimal condition and over long time you will actually save with these and your bike will not overheat not run the radiator constantly in high temperatures this thing, maybe in the US, in the C2 Sky, you already do get these signature lights. They're absolutely beautiful. However, Martin, the vlogger, has a brand new light and that they will fit absolutely beautifully and they will have also turn light signal functionality. Uh, so uh, we will install that and for that we need to stripe the whole bike. And because we are doing that, customer didn't went for the OX lights where, that you can install here. It's not that simple in uh, Europe. I will get there later in the video, why not? It's not plug and play for us. In US, it's plug and play. You remove the plastic cover, you insert the light, you're there. Here, it's a different story. And I will try to tell to the customer if he wants the OX light or not, because it's extra visibility, extra safety. Already told you about shocks. This is just a joke. Uh, super weak. The bike leans so much from side to side, not to mention when you are riding to up, because you have, this seat is like this, the other seat is much higher, so the passenger can see above you. 
There is, however, a problem. Center of gravity goes so much high that the whole bike on the weed shocks. Shocks are okay, the springs are terrible. On weak shocks or springs, the bike leans so much it almost creates a really a dangerous conditions to riding. I will get there later. We will do this if I'm going from the front to the back. <laughs> Not a lot of people have seen these. We are the only shop to have them and ship worldwide. Floating rotters. Now, why? Does the bike don't break? <laughs> bike breaks. Bike breaks actually pretty good. The problem is, I don't call it even a bike, I call it a boat because it's big ass. It's like Goldwing on three wheels, it's 500 kilos plus you, and same brakes as on F3, which is a much smaller bike, much lighter. What you do, and this person, this customer, told me he will be riding aggressively. But are riding aggressively or not, it will create the rotors to twist. So we will change them for floating rotors with big openings, which will expand with the heat. You have a 30,000 euro bike and your rotors, once you hit them once or twice a little bit harder, you will cook them, they will twist. And every time you push your bike, you can hear that squeaking noise like it's not only, is it embarrassing? Write it into comments. Is it embarrassing on 30 plus thousand euro bike? Not really, I think, but the thing is, it also touches all the time when you are riding and we can go like this. So upgrade on rotors. Have a look at this. I've already been there several times. Who was watching my video? Shaky mirrors. We will fix that. We will put our brand new handlebar risers. Why? Because the owner, it's tall as he's tall. So we will do that. We will put seat shock. Why are you putting on a brand new bike a seat shock? Because the, the seat on your 30,000 euro bike closes all the time you refill. There is a fuel tank that you need to refill, open the rider seat and it falls down all the time. Sorry, so we need to fix that. We will put another light, floorboard lights, because it looks beautiful. We will put bags, because you have nice luggage area, top case, side bags, front. So we will put, actually those are his bags right over there so nice big ass bags uh what else we will put armrest for his lady we will put backrest for him uh we will put again in the u.s and north america you are mostly receiving this as a uh, your daylight and brake light not happening in europe or plastic just black we will remove it and replace it with running light and brake light. Inside, he will get organizer. So he's a little bit organized. We will remove this ding dong because I absolutely hate it and we will create it much shorter, better looking. We will put cannon filter and I will explain you why and we will put pedal box <laughs> to make the acceleration a little bit faster without really harming the bike and last not least hopefully i haven't forgot about anything but we will do also the heavy duty sway bar pro so now now let me start with rotors
So almighty high-performance floating rotors. Do you need them when you just board the bike straight away? What they will do, why shape like this, why floating, what it means, and me being 50-50. Okay, let me, let me tell you and explain you everything what I mean by this. Uh, so floating rotors. Now this person has throw it on the bike straight away, all right? So we just brought the bike from the dealer and we are installing the upgrade. Why? And do you need it? No, you don't need it. I believe like 90% of the people don't need it. And I'm the shop owner, okay? I should be telling you like, go and buy it. You don't need it. You will have stock rotors that you might destroy if you are a little bit more aggressive rider. You have simply RT, which is super heavy. And you go from the shop, you go for a ride and many people hit it hard, test it, and you simply put too much heat into the rotors and doesn't need a lot and they will they will twist because they have nowhere to expand the rotors are underperformed so they will twist and once they will twist they will twist more 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 and they will create then vibrations this person went for the upgrade because i told him to because he's, he's a rider, he's a rider like, like aggressive rider. Also, he told me one thing. I want you to build my bike as you would build your own. Maybe you know the beast, maybe you don't know, but there are no compromises. So I can tell when, when customers are asking me, I can tell two perspectives, two perspectives, one, building a bike without compromises. Two, I own tour and rental business. We have something like 10 bikes to rent, spiders and rikers. And I throw into every single bike around four to 6,000 euros in upgrades. But I don't put floating rotors there because it's too extreme and I will go bankrupt and my wife would kill me. And that's something I don't wanna have, do, whatever. On the other hand, I'll tell it to you like this, very quickly. Shocks. On my bike, god damn, there will be Wilbur's, no compromises. And the Nightline color, which is only a color, nothing to do with the performance, but they look the best. They will go there. Tour and rental bike, we have high performance springs. They will do massive improvement and massive job. The price, 300 euros. Wilbur's, over 1,000 springs. It is for Tour and Rental. For Martin the Vlogger, Wilbur's. Floating rotors for Martin the Vlogger? No, I have six piston calipers, double layer rotors, upgrade worth these days around 3,500 euros. We don't sell it anymore. That's a different story why, but... So Martin the Vlogger is even more crazy. So what this upgrade does, I told you about twists. All right, so your regular rotors will twist, and once they will twist more and more, they will create vibrations to your foot brake, and simply it's, it will become annoying. Uh, so you have this expansion rings, so that's why it's called floating. So with the heat, they will expand. They will not twist, they will expand. Once they cool down, they will shrink back. Uh, they have wave and big openings. Of course, it's a very cool design. It's beautiful, it's very important. More important is that there is much less dust. Apart from heat distribution and cooling down, there is much less dust catching on this. There is much less water catching on this. Much faster cool um, evaporating of the water. So breaking under not dry conditions it's much better all right and of course the cooling of it so these things we will throw in because the customer wants upgrade we have ebc rotors many people go for ebc rotors we have them on the shop is it a performance upgrade 
No. EBC Reuters changing them from stock at being different. Many of us would like to be different and that's from the stock and that's fine. EBC is just built for that. Two, maybe 3% better. Okay, I'm a shop owner. 5% better. Seven. Let's do comp seven. In breaking. Maybe. Cooler design, whatever. EBC brake pads compared to stock ones. 10% because I'm a shop owner. Other than that, price and being different, okay? You will not really notice much higher improvement in the brake pads, changing brake pads or EBC rotors. This is a different thing. It really solves the solution. Of course, it costs something like 500 euros. Only on martinthevlogger.com slash shop, your number one place in the world for Canem Spider and Riker parts. Only we ship worldwide.